Hello, my name is Danny. I'm with the Nashville Public Library's Digital Inclusion Team. And today we're going to look at a video on how to attend a Zoom meeting. This is great information for someone that has never used Zoom that uh, might like to join a Zoom meeting. Uh, lots of people are using Zoom today to connect and it's a great way to connect. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, what is Zoom? Well, the short answer is it's like a video call. It's like using your phone, except uh, it has video. Uh, you get to see others and they get to see you. Uh, it works one-on-one, -on -one, meaning you and one other person can have a Zoom call, or it works with a group of people, meaning uh, there might be a whole lot of people on there. Uh, Zoom is just one of many brands of video chatting software. We'll look at a few of the popular brands in a minute. But when people talk about Zoom, they're talking about a brand of video chatting software. So why would you want to uh, do a video chat call? Well, video calls allow you to see the host as well as see others, and they also can see you. Uh, visual is a great way to feel connected. Um, you can feel more connected, especially in this time of safer at home and social distancing. It's a great way to connect while staying safe. Uh, it makes it easier to explain things. Uh, I could uh, demonstrate how to put something together or take something apart, and you could actually see it as I'm doing it would be an example. Uh, it allows you to see the host as they explain a topic, such as we're doing here. Uh, video can be turned off and on, uh, so if, if for some reason you needed to turn off your camera in a call, you can. Keep in mind that people want to see you just like you like seeing others, so um, you know, leave your camera on if possible, but if something should happen that you need to turn it off, uh, know that you can. Video chatting is fun. It is a great way to connect uh, again in this time of social distancing. So some of the common brands of video chatting apps, of course, Zoom is probably the most popular brand right now. So that's, you'll hear a lot of people talking about Zoom. A lot of churches are using Zoom right now for their services and businesses are using Zoom and families are connecting, uh, you know, to have uh, get togethers and uh, be connected. Google Hangouts is another brand. And then there is also Google Duo. Google Duo is designed more for one-on-one -on -one chatting, but it is a form of video chatting. Skype, uh, one of the oldest video chatting apps, been around for a long time. I've used Skype uh, when there was nothing else and worked great, just a different brand. FaceTime is uh, an Apple product. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can face chat with other people that have uh, FaceTime, but it is only works on Apple. WhatsApp is very popular in other countries. Uh, I know in Canada, they use WhatsApp a lot. Uh, Europe is very popular uh, uh, way to connect. And one of the things you do need to be aware of is you must use the same app as the other people are using. So Google cannot connect, or, or excuse me, Zoom cannot connect to FaceTime or Skype and vice versa. Everyone must be on Zoom on that particular call or everyone must, must be on Skype on that particular call. You can't have more than one app on your device. They, they, they do not interfere with one another. Uh, but again, Zoom is, is right now the most popular brand. So, how it would start is you would receive an email invitation. It typically comes in an email. It can come in a text message. Someone could actually call you on the phone and give you the information, but you'd have to write a lot of stuff down and then type it in. Email is the easiest and most preferred way. Your email would look something like this. It might have a little more information, but it would have things like uh, you're being invited to a scheduled Zoom call. Uh, there's the date and the time. And then when the time comes, you simply tap or click on the link to connect. Now, the very first time that you tap on this link, if you've never been on, a, on the Zoom, uh, connected to Zoom on that device, 
it will either need to run a script or download an app. And it will tell you to do that and you just follow the, the instructions. It'll run that little script or, or download the app and then you'll be ready to connect. So once you're past that, you will get something that looks similar to this. Uh, if the host has not arrived yet, you might get waiting for the host to arrive and it'll just sit there until the host arrives. You don't need to do anything, just wait. And when the host arrives, it will take you on. You'll be placed in a waiting room. You might get a message that says, please wait. The meeting host will let you in soon. And then once he grants you access, uh, you will see a little connecting. It'll start connecting you. And then once you're finished connected, you will be in. You know, uh, the large picture is the host and the small picture is you. Uh, so if you're not connected, tap the screen and little controls will come up. I'm going to back up and show that again. You don't see anything, but if you just tap on the screen, controls will appear at the top and the bottom of the screen to, to walk you through. At the top of the screen, you have the meeting ID, the password, leave the meeting functions, and at the bottom of the screen, you have join audio, start video, share participants, and more. Now, join audio might say mute or unmute, but if you haven't connected to audio the first time, it would say join. Uh, taking a look at some of the things, we'll start here with join audio right there. So if we tap on that, uh, you would get a call via audio device. You want to tap that and select, uh, actually, if you just tap it, it will connect you and then it will change to mute and unmute. Moving on across, start video. If your camera is not already on, you'll get a start uh, video, but if you needed to turn your camera off for a reason, it would say stop video. And if you tap that, start video again brings you up. Notice here there was no no picture, we start video, your picture comes up, and tapping it again would stop it. Moving on across is share your screen. Now you can only share your screen if the host has given you permission. Uh, if you tap that, uh, it'll give you options to share if the host has given you permission, but typically what you would get is a host has disabled attendee uh, and you just tap OK and it takes you back. So uh, that's, that's a typical message that you would get if you tap that. Moving on across to participants, tapping that will bring up a window that looks like this and it will list all of the participants that are on that call. My example only has the host and me, but if there were 10 people, I would see 10 names down through there, and it just lets me see everyone that's on there. Uh, I can chat with those participants. I simply tap on the participant I wish to chat with, and when I tap on that, it's going to bring up a chat window with the keyboard, and then of course I can chat, and the other person can chat back with me, so we can have a kind of a sidebar conversation. Uh, it's a great way to ask a question without disrupting the meeting. Uh, etc. Uh, once you are done chatting, the close right at the top right there, if you tap on that, it closes the window and brings you back to the camera. Moving on across to more, tapping on that, you will get some options there. I've listed them over here. It's a little bit easier. Disconnect audio, chat, raise hand, hide my video in gallery view, hide non-video participants, show name when participants join. Some of these things are just use the default. Feel free to explore with them if you want. Uh, let's take a look at a couple across the top. There is the applaud and like sign. If, if you like something that the host is doing, uh, you can tap, for instance, on the applaud and the host would actually see those hands uh, and you haven't disrupted anyone. It's a great way to encourage the host. If you're liking something that they are saying or showing, 
Uh, you can like or applaud. The host would see the, the applaud there, gives them a little bit of encouragement as they're, they're uh, hosting and doing their presentation. Uh, same way, tap on the like sign and the host would see the like sign come up. So he would know you really liked what uh, they're presenting. Uh, disconnect audio. I do not know why anyone would want to disconnect their audio unless they were having trouble hearing and they wanted to disconnect from the audio and you could actually call in on a phone and listen on the phone while watching on uh, the computer. But uh, that's very cumbersome, but it, it will work. Particularly if maybe you only had one bar, if you was out somewhere where you didn't have a good internet signal, that might be a reason to disconnect from the audio. But if possible, you want to listen and watch everything on the computer or on this case on your Kindle Fire device. Uh, the chat, uh, just simply tap on the chat. It's just another way to get back to that chat menu we looked at a while ago. Raise your hand is a great option. Uh, tapping on raise your hand would let the host know that you have a question, want to say something, so that they could either unmute you and uh, or give you a moment to ask your question. Uh, the hide my video from gallery view, again, explore with these and hide non-video participants, but I like to see who all's on there, even the, the non-video ones, but feel free to, ex to experiment with those. You won't hurt a thing. When the meeting is over, you want to leave the meeting. It's up at the top. You simply tap on leave meeting. It will open up a window and it will ask you, do you want to leave the meeting? Uh, you have the option to cancel and stay in the meeting. So if I didn't really mean to uh, tap that and the window just came up, I can tap off of it. Uh, or if I really did mean to leave, I just tap leave meeting and now then, I have left the meeting and I am back to my home screen of the Zoom app. So that pretty much walks us through the basic functions of attending a Zoom meeting. You guys are now ready to be invited and attend a Zoom meeting. Just to kind of recap, we covered things today. What is video calling? A few different brands. We looked at some different brands of the video apps. We did a quick overview of connecting to a meeting, receiving an invite. We connected to the Zoom meeting. Uh, we did an overview of the controls across the bottom, and then we signed out of our meeting. We would love to hear from you. Feel free to uh, email us. In fact, we encourage you to email us. Give us input, ask us a question, we will get back to you. Email address is library digital inclusion at nashville.gov. That is library, L-I-B-R-A-R-Y, digital, D-I-G-I-T-A-L, inclusion, I-N-C-L-U-S-I-O-N, at nashville.gov. You will notice capital lowercase. It doesn't matter. Email addresses are not case sensitive, so don't worry about getting capital letters right. I just capitalized it here to make it easier to read. All lowercase, just the main thing is no spaces. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Again, please give us the input uh, or ask questions and we will certainly get back to you. You guys are now ready to uh, attend the Zoom meeting. I wish you much fun and enjoy your new app. Thank you.